Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through some of the best methods for you to farm blueberry points in the Indigo Disc. So blueberry points are the main source of currency in the Blueberry Academy. You're going to use them to unlock Pokemon in different biomes. You're going to use them to invite trainers to the club room and get specific items. They are pretty much going to be the currency that you're only going to use for everything that you're going to want to do in the post game of the Indigo Disc. So for that reason, they are a very important thing and you are going to have to spend time to get these to unlock a lot of the features that are available in the post game. So like we said in the intro, we're going to go through some of the best methods that are going to make it as easy as possible for you to acquire a lot of blue Re points in a short amount of time. The first thing we're going to kick off with is the flying time trial mini game. And yes, some of you might be familiar with this because it is the Ameri's Elite Four trial that you had to do before you face her in battle. This involves you using your ride Pokemon to fly through the big electrical hoop set up by the Magnemite throughout a different course. The basic premise of this is to try and go through all of the rings to kind of acquire time so you can get to the finish line as quick as possible with as much time on the clock. But once you're in the post game, you can return back to the Canyon Plaza and you can re-attempt this minigame. There are four difficulty mods. There is easy, normal, hard, and then there is super hard mod. Completing each mod will unlock the subsequent mod. So when you've finished easy, you'll unlock normal. Completing normal, you'll unlock hard. And then when you complete hard, you'll unlock the last one, which is the super hard mod. Completing each of these levels will give a payout of blueberry points. Completing easy will give you a payout of 50 blueberry points. Completing normal will give 100 blueberry points and completing hard will give you 200 blueberry points. The super hard mode is quite challenging, but if you manage to complete it and you can do this solo, it will be 500 blueberry points for the reward. So for just doing this mini game alone, that's 850 blueberry points in quite a short period of time as well. Now, the only caveat with this mini game is it doesn't really have much repeatability because if you go in thinking, well, I get 500 blueberry points for completing the super hard mode. You'd be wrong because if you go in and repeat it after you've already unlocked it, the next time you do it, you will only be given 50 blueberry points rather than the 500 that you get from the first time of completing it. The hard mode will only give you 20 blueberry points for repeating it. The normal mode will give you 10 blueberry points for repeating it. And the easy mode will only give you five blueberry points for repeating it. So there are definitely better methods of farming blueberry points rather than this but it's definitely worth doing for the first time round and that big chunk of blueberry points that you will get from completing this the next method is going to be battling trainers in each biome there is 14 trainers that you can go and battle and beat and then when you come back to the central rest areas in these biomes there will be an npc who you can speak to and will give you rewards for a set amount of trainers that you've beat it's very much like the league officials in paldea when you beat a certain amount of trainers in those specific areas. And not only will you get payouts of blueberry points, you're also gonna unlock TMs as you go. So the first payout is gonna be for six trainers beaten. That will be 100 blueberry points. The next increment is gonna be 10 trainers beaten in that specific biome, which will give you a payout of 200 blueberry points. And then the final is beating all 14 trainers in that specific biome, which will be 500 blueberry points. And along with those, like I say, you will get TMs as gifts as well. So it's a way for you to get a good chunk of blueberry points as well as unlocking the TMs that are now available in the Indigo Disc. And finally, the best for last, the best way to farm blueberry points in the Indigo Disc is going to be utilizing the BBQs or the Blueberry Academy quests. Now you'll be able to access these quests and see what they are by hitting the right button on your D-pad. This will bring up this screen and you'll be able to have a look at the quests that you've got to complete. These blue common quests will typically range from 20 blueberry points right up to about 40 blueberry points. And every time you complete one of these quests, you'll automatically get a new one. And the idea is to complete 10 of these, which will then unlock one red colored quest. Now the red colored quests will range from about 150 blueberry points to 200 blueberry points, which is a massive increase 
from what you've been doing with the common blue ones. The red quest will be slightly more difficult, but not anything too challenging. It can be anything from making a certain tasting sandwich to making a sandwich that includes three ingredients. It can even go as far as to hatching an egg or battling a terror raid Pokemon. But generally, even doing this in your game yourself, you're going to be able to acquire a lot of blueberry points very quickly just doing these quests. These quests as well also have a significant weighting against unlocking the legendary Pokemon that become available in the post game, but we'll cover that in a different video. Now, although you can do this solo in your game and you can grind for blueberry points by yourself using just the quests, it will take a long time to acquire the amount that you need to unlock a lot of the other features in the post game. Now, the best way to expedite this whole process is by getting online with other players. Joining up with three other players in a union circle will make this process an absolute breeze. Because all those common quests that you've got ranging from 20 to 40, when any one of the four players completes one of those quests, each of the four players in the union circle get those blueberry points. The same goes for when each player gets one of those red quests and every player once one of those is complete will get the reward of those higher blueberry point payouts. And the added bonus that you're gonna get if you are doing this in a group online is the golden quests that you get. So every time three red quests are complete, you as a group will be given a golden quest which give you a payout between 500 to 550 blueberry points which is a huge increase from what all of the other payouts from these quests give you now these group quests can involve going and finding a set amount of ditto blocks around a specific biome to going out to catch a specific pokemon where all of you will be given one hint and you'll have to pull your hints together to find out what that pokemon is then go and catch it again the difficulty level steps up with these golden quests or the group quests that we've got but again it's nothing too difficult working together will make this very easy and because you're all earning the blueberry points that anyone earns you'll be able to get a huge amount of blueberry points very quickly now i spent earlier on this afternoon with a group of players and i was able to get 27,000 blueberry points very very quickly just doing a shared union circle with three other players and just grinding through all of the quests and then the golden quests and the red quests as well and the nice thing is as well, when you're doing it as a group, any one of you can complete the list of quests that are available. So if someone else in the group had a red quest for making a sour sandwich, you could set up the picnic and make a sour sandwich and it would be complete, even though it wasn't complete by the player that that quest came from. So you can really work as a team to make it as effective as possible and as quick as possible to farm battle points. Now we've set up a union circle group on our discord so if you want to jump in there the link will be down in the description and you can meet up and organize these groups online so it can make farming blueberry points a lot easier but again you can do this in game by yourself if you'd like to it, just bear in mind it will take a lot longer to acquire the number of blueberry points that you're going to need to unlock a lot of the features in the post game but using all three of these methods that we've covered in today's video is going to give you plenty of ways for you to easily grind those blueberry points that you need. And if you've got any methods that I haven't covered in today's video that you found very effective for farming blueberry points, do leave them in the comment section below. I'm sure they'll be helpful for other trainers when they come around to doing this in their own games. Hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scholar and Violet content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.